Wait. Are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. I, uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I need to finish this game. As you wish. She's probably one of the most compelling characters, which is funny enough. What's that plan? <laughs> Welcome back to my Detroit Become Human playthrough. It is now snowy in Amanda Town. That's weird. Just walking towards this. I don't know why. Oh. Now I'm like, what happened to Connor? Oh. <clears throat> After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Wait, did I miss? I missed a dialogue bit. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. <clears throat> Kemsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. <clears throat> you didn't tell me everything you know about Deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. I just lied to her. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can. you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? <clears throat> There's nothing I can do. Come on, Jeffrey, get the president get on the back phone. Back on homicide, and the android returns to cyber life. Oh. I'm sorry, Hank. But We're going like... fucking rogue. <coughs> we are going fucking rogue. Bet your ass I'm going to talk to my buddy Hank. Hank, let's go get some beers. Maybe some shots of Jameson. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. 
So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? I know we're on the right side. Oh Humans no, no, us. no, no. Ah. I answered no doubt as in <laughs> not literally I answered it as like yeah no doubt no doubt we're on the wrong side like fuck <clears throat> can I go to the main menu and redo this eh made my choice there are masters no machine should rebel against its creator no when you refuse to kill that android at Kamsky's place you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I might not be qualified to judge, but you're an outstanding police officer and a good person. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. I sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. Fuck Fowler. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Yeah, Connor. Listen, Connor. No. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Compelling argument, Connor. Compelling. The basement is on my desk. I'll get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Yeah. Yeah. Let's fucking party. We are fucking going rogue, baby. You fucking cocksucker. Oh. Where's the basement? Archive room. Stop it, Lieutenant. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or didn't. Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. <coughs> Fuck that dickhead. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Obviously. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere.
four seven one seven. Excuse me. You, you lied to me, Connor. I trusted you and you lied to me. I need to find Jericho. Do you know how to get there? You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. But I hope that one day... You pay for what you did to me. Six, seven, five, five. Disaster, but you have to tell me where Jericho is. I remember you. We could have escaped, been free, but you killed us. Disconnect me. I'd rather be dead than live without her. How am I going to possibly trick her? Oh my god. since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now, it's gonna be definitive. OK. 
Okay, that's a bit extreme. <clears throat> Shit. That damn LB fucks me up. RB, LB. I just want R1, R2. Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm! Now! I think that was good, right? They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. Androids being turned over to the authorities. The country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are what? expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Is that the same spot? No. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safe on the Ow. other side. Ow, motherfucker. It's not much. <clears throat> 50. But it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. Let's go. We have a bus <clears throat> to catch. Honor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't tell me I have to do this whole thing all over again. Okay, good.
Oh, he's gonna run into. Oh shit. How I don't understand how this freighter is just allowed to remain without being addressed, you know? The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids won't do any harm. They're conducting the raids across the city. Cut them down. Android. Your androids all over the square. And then the police arrive and well, they open fire. I know they're only machines, but they they look like just people. People who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids. That's helpful. Forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw. In the war, the that texture is really gross. But according to some sources, Okay, it's better now. Oof, it's rough. The Kremlin has made no How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Because she's sick. Is she sick? <clears throat> Oh boy. The time has come for us to destroy our machines before they destroy us. Without the courage and the determination of the police, the machines would have reduced Detroit to a state of chaos. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen. We've got to do something. Come to collect we can't just stand by and Under let them no slaughter. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids won't do any harm. Don't catch it. Gun them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. Police arrived and well, they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they they look like just people, people who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids. American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, the but it is quite possible that the Russian <coughs> army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its... I go up here. Before they destroy us. Why did they do it? Why Without the courage and the determination of the police. 
machines would have reduced Detroit. Marcus, where the fuck are you? No. Oh. The authorities have ordered all androids to be. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. We might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. No, they don't. Why are you protecting her? They don't hate you. She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. The androids weren't doing any harm. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. There. And, and then the police arrived, and well, they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they, they look like just people. With people who want to be free. Alice. I did not need each other. Did not see that coming. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Carol. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Getting who you are to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Following the Android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw. Literally, no. But. Forever. My only question is does she, how does she not know that she's an android? Unless that would be a part of the child programming? You got a kind heavy for your bodyguard. That's a plus. That's a plus. Connor's there. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. 
Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. The only thing we asked for was freedom. And they don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Being free? Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. Can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. Also, the enemies aren't your. All that matters now is what we do next. The humans aren't your enemy. There's some. God, oh, stop Jesus. with the generalization. Both of you. <laughs> Dialogue this is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. Fucking tell me They'll what to do, ma'am. Maybe. But North, I have to try. <clears throat> if I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Kind of mixed signals there, Marcus. Just come back. You hear? They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Oh. Find the right words, and they'll listen. Public opinion's going in your direction. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Mm. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. Oh. To give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Uh, let's. We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. I would have taken it from her because I don't necessarily trust her. <clears throat> so we're not necessarily on her good, good side. Tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Go for it. Marcus, take your shot. I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Hmm. I'll say like humans are violent. No shit. But you're literally arguing with your own people against violence. So you may be your own thing, but you're made in our image. Wow. Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Uh, uh, 
Connor no I've been ordered to take you alive but I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice what are you doing you're one of us you can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, Thank you. congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Let's go for it. to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. an exit further on. Come in! Quick! Oops. No! Luther! Luther, uh. Luther no! No! People are trapped in the hole. They're going to be slaughtered. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. OK. 
Get out of my way, people. Going towards violence. It's too late, Captain! Save yourself! Save Alice! No, we're not going to be behind! Right, Carl? We can't leave him! What are you doing? I won't leave you! Clara, no! Let's go, Alice. But we're gonna blow up the ship. Jesus. You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't wanna leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch him through the border, okay? Go now, take care of each other. Hide. Open up. Open up. They're coming. Please open She'll the door. She'll die out there, Car. Open it. Open the door. They're going to kill me. It's a cop, isn't it? Fuck you, asshole. Sweep the leg. Or oh, are we gonna shoot him? Cara! Are you alright, Kara? Yes, I'm fine. We can't stay here. Well, things have just been crossed. This shit, I'm done. Marcus is done. Oh. Marcus, you saved us. Go now. Get the Hurry. fuck out of here. I'm not gonna be. That's a bad idea, wasn't it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Get up there, get up there, go. Oh. Look out! Here they come! Don't move! We surrender! We surrender! Don't shoot! Can I help them? Get out of Marcus, here. Go now. Join the others. Yeah, this is all all on top of uh things. On board, if you will. Josh. Oh, fuck you, asshole. Oh, 
Quick, this way! Find north. I'll join you later. Oh. Where? We're safe, Alice. Stop! 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 Get down! Don't move. You're moving. Is it safe? Quick, we've got to go. <laughs> Jesus. Hit the wrong button with my thumb. It sure makes uh, violence hard for me. Second, we gotta get out of here. And I stop running. No, it's too late, Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. Nope. Okay, so when push came to shove, we had to fight. Makes sense. How will Lieutenant feel about this? I think he's going to... It's going to be complicated. I think I did okay. Connor. Jesus, this is a very 
very much an outlier. There are a lot of... Ch huh. God, I wonder. Huh. The next day, right? Yep. See, he said they hate you. Carl didn't hate you. I miss you, Carl. You can't know how much I miss you. Carl was good people. I'd give anything for us to be able to roll back the clock. I had a home. I had a loving father. We were happy. I was happy. And I didn't even know it. I just wanted my people to be free. But instead, all I did was lead them to disaster. I am trying to find answers, but everything around me keeps falling apart. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? Help me, Carl. Please help me. Looks like it would be a Detroit church in like Robocop or something. Many of us survived the attack. A few hundred? Mm. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Hmm. Nothing else matters. The army built five different camps in the Detroit area. They're building more all across the country. <sighs> They're preparing for a genocide. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. Whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Technically, you probably should have said you love her too. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. 
You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Do you really believe that? Marcus. Thank you. Save our people. Decide Connor's fate. The fuck are you talking about? Connor's a good guy. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. Okay. Thanks, Simon. He's always rational. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. <laughs> it's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. What the fuck happened here? The game fucking... It's still recording. It says... It's very obnoxious. Don't know why it stopped recording, but it did stop recording. Well, it didn't stop recording. It glitched and the screen froze. I'm not sure what happened. So hopefully we're good. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. Solid answer. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. It's baller. They trust me. They'll let me in. Mm -hmm. Amanda if doesn't trust has a chance you. of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Humans have decided to exterminate us. 
Not all of them. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. going for for public opinion support I know I know you're all angry and I know you want to fight back but I assure you violence is not the answer here we are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice and if there's any humanity in them they will listen and if not others will take our place and continue this fight are you ready to follow me I think that's enough um thanks for watching if you liked it like it dislike it dislike it feel free to comment and subscribe uh we're going places um take care